On the 22nd of January, 1973, the US Supreme Court made it legal to get abortion on demand in all 50 states. Some 11 years later, in 1984, on January the 13th, President Ronald Reagan issued a proclamation marking the 22nd of January as the first National Sanctity of Human Life Day. And since that time, many churches and organizations have recognized the third Sunday of January to be the day where they celebrate, they recognize the sanctity of human life. And so this coming Sunday here at Bedford Bible Church, I plan on teaching and preaching on the subject of the sanctity of human life. So we're going to be looking not at what politicians say, not at what scientists say, uh, certainly not Sunday morning. We might go into that Sunday evening a little bit. But my focus is going to be on what the Bible says. What does the Bible say about the sanctity of human life? And this has bearing not just on the issue of abortion, but also on bioethics, on the treatment of one another uh, throughout life, whether it be someone who's able-bodied or not, someone who is uh, like us or someone who may be considered our enemy. It has to do with our dealings and thoughts on euthanasia and how to deal with those who are sick and uh, who are struggling in life. We're going to draw all the truth from God's Word. And so Sunday morning, I'll be dealing with the ABCs of this issue. A, dealing with the author of life. The, the primary reason why life has sanctity, why it's special, why human life is different to any other, is because the author of our life is God. We're going to consider what the Bible says about the beginning of human life. Can we tell uh, at what point we become a human being? And then we're going to look at the crisis of life. And to find out more about that, I trust that you'll be able to come along on Sunday or be able to listen into the service online. It's one of the greatest issues facing our day, but it's something which has been a battleground for believers throughout human history. And I'm going to be sharing examples that go back to ancient Israel, to India, to places around the world today. And we'll see how Christians have always been at the forefront of protecting the most vulnerable in our society. And so I do pray that you'll be able to be here. If you have any questions, then please do let me know. Uh, but this is a, a tremendous issue that we need to get behind as Christians to pray about and to do our part in battling uh, the forces of, of evil uh, that want to take away the lives of the most vulnerable in our society. Uh, so any questions, please do let me know. And I look forward to sharing what God has put on my heart this coming Sunday.